Runner folks, I am Ultrazilla, and this is my Horror of the Week video. All right, fine. This is not Ultrazilla. But I am. Hi! <laughs> this is an AliExpress Kong special. Uh, and you've probably already seen my review of uh, this figure last week. And I'm saying last week because I think this video is going up uh, on Monday night. Um, and it's, it's a regular... Not a regular, this is a very hodgepodge haul of the week uh, type of video that I'm doing. Um, gonna be all over the place here. Forgive me. It's not gonna be a live. And that's mostly because I have some cleaning to do on my review desk. Some putting stuff away. Some figuring out what next week's reviews are. Uh, a lot of... A lot of things going on. A lot of moving parts here. Uh, there's got to be some organizing going on. Ultra Zillow's Toys this weekend. At the time of this, you're seeing uh, it's Friday. Friday afternoon. Uh, late Friday afternoon. But honestly, the next two parts, I believe, uh, were filmed even earlier. And this part, I'm refilming because for some reason there was no audio. <laughs> Uh, originally, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know what happened. Um, I, I think it's because my camera was uh, low on memory. Um, anywho, oh, uh, uh, you know what's funny is that happened the first time too. Uh, except he fell all the way to the floor. Uh, anywho, AliExpress, twenty five bucks, Star inspired Kong. Um, third party ish though, more third party ish than knockoff so please go check out my review if you haven't uh i'll hopefully remember to put the link in uh at the end here so you know hope you dig that uh anywho the rest of this video we're gonna be all over the place i'm gonna be jumping around uh the studio area uh which is in my basement um so we're gonna be at my wife's area another area by my review desk we're gonna be all over the place uh, I'm going to show you not only him, I already did. There you go. Um, uh, but what else that's come in for the last two weeks? Because the last time I did this was at the time of this recording exactly two weeks ago. Uh, so the last time you saw a haul. But there hasn't been that much that's come in. And uh, at this point right now, um, I have something coming in on Sunday and Monday. And I figured I, I just want to get everything up all these that are coming in together all in the same video and then put it up might as well so uh we're also going to be doing some fun uh because i already filmed this so i know um uh, uh a kind of like choosing between two sets of toys type of deal you're gonna you know have a chance to to vote in if if, if you so choose um uh, what your thoughts is on what i'm gonna be choosing i'm not gonna reveal it quite yet uh, and uh, a couple of unbox actual unboxings. So without any further ado, let's move forward. Moving over to my review desk, which I was uh, starting to organize a little bit. Got really crazy really fast. Um, and that's what happens when you get a lot of things at once, uh, which has happened in the last month. Uh, so before Kong, I got in this Zeo Red Ranger, you know, Tommy. Uh, I, I managed to get him for eight bucks on Amazon and I couldn't pass that up. He was $13.99 uh, on sale. They had a Power Ranger sale and um, I had like six bucks or so, like six fifty or so uh, in credits. So yeah, like an $8 and 40 something cents or whatever the heck it was. Uh, Tommy. Uh, and as you can see, he's in a little baggy already because I already tossed out the box. But he looks good. He's on, you know, the to-do list with, you know, whoever else is on this table that I still haven't done. Um, yet, yeah, so we shall see where he comes, but, you know, you'll, you'll see him. You'll see him soon. Okay, moving over here to a different section of my basement. <laughs> I got a, a, you know stuff here that came in this week i do want to talk about this nothing is opened yet 
Um, but let's let's start with with this stuff. So Transformers Red. What? Yeah, I got. If you haven't seen my Instagram, I got two sets of these, uh, and there's Megatron, and the Soundwave, and um, these might be the ones I'm sending back. I haven't properly looked at them yet. Uh, but I think within this video, you're gonna see them unbox. I, I will show you the ones I end up taking. Um, what happened was, and I definitely want to talk about this, is Walmart pulled a Walmart. Uh, so what's going on is, if you don't know, Walmart is really bad with pre-orders. They are constantly delaying their pre-orders so you'll go into their stores and, and buy more stuff uh, to hunt for these figures this is this is actually something that someone in customer service at walmart has actually told me so i'm not just making that up that's an actual thing uh i don't think it's like publicly on their website but that's what someone told me i'm not kidding you you could go back on my ultrazilla facebook sometime last year uh and i posted about that conversation directly after i had it uh, but anywho these were delayed till december it's not december yet um and then all of a sudden last week or this week i should say they popped up in stock uh on the website my pre-order left dangling it had no nothing different about it um, so, you know, this has happened with GameStop as well. And, uh, what I did was I canceled the pre-order and I reordered them. Minutes later, I get a shipping notice. Great! Um, later that night, they shipped out my original set, which is, which are those. Oh, actually, no, the original set is D's. This is the ones I ordered after. Um... Funny enough, the original set, they, they ignored my cancellation request, by the way. Um, the original set came f faster. They came the next morning. And these uh, came today, which again is Friday. Um, so, you know, a day apart. Uh, so I already put in the return for the original set, but Walmart's getting whichever set I don't like. Uh, I'm going to be looking at them and, you know... Uh, through here, I'm not, I'm not one of those that's gonna, people that's gonna open up the packages and compare them. I'm not gonna do that. That's that's gross. Uh, so I'm not gonna do that. But I'm gonna make my best judgment of the two. Hope for the best. And I'm sending back the others. Um, these are the boxes they came in, the original ones, and I've already printed out the return labels. So they just gotta go out. All right, all right. So we got this left to look at right now. Again, there is something else coming. So. Uh, we will do that, but I'm going to set up elsewhere uh, to look at that. And we will, again, look at these uh, as soon as I make my decision. Stay tuned. It's in this video. Okay, Zillions, I thought I'd do something uh, fun here and kind of uh, show you what I'm deciding on and why um, between the two sets that I got. Um, and so far, in my initial inspection of them, I'm going with the first batch that I pre-ordered that also came first instead of the ones that uh, came after I ordered them again. I'll show you why. One thing I want to also show you guys is I think it's pretty cool that they put all the accessories on the side and you can see them all. That, that's pretty neat. So I don't care about the boxes. So none of the... I, I might point something out on them, um, but... This is uh, the initial one. And it's looking okay. However, there is some, like, let me zoom in here so you can see. On the crotch area, on the blue, it gets a little fuzzy, the paint, I can see that. I see something messed up on the yellow there. You see that? And, um, the printing on the Autobot symbol there looks a little bit off. The head sculpt is looking okay. And one thing that I noticed on a couple of these, 
uh, that came in earlier today is that the hands are one is like within the plastic and uh, one is not so here you can see both hands are within the plastic the yellow looks okay it does have some specks but i feel like that looks like lint to me in there um there's a little bit of excess yellow there there's like a speck of red on his leg that i can see that Autobot symbol is also printed a little off, but it looks a little bit better. Uh, let's see. I just gotta move the camera a little bit up here. There is a chip in his mouthpiece there that I could see. Do we see that here? Yes. That is there as well. I feel like it's a little more pronounced here. I can definitely see it better. But the rest of the head sculpt looks okay. So... They both have some things going for them, but I think I'm choosing this one. Um, you let me know your choice below. I think it'll be a very interesting comparison. Here are the Megatrons. You got the things on the side here again. Uh, and I'm at my, did I say this already? Uh, I'm at my wife's like plant desk here. <laughs> um, it was easier to go here than to, to clean up my desk and do this part, I, which I have to do because I realize I, I need to, I want to put these in the mail uh, tomorrow, the ones I don't want. So this is uh, from the second batch here. All the paint in the center is looking okay. Again, let's zoom in. There is uh, some black specks on his helmet, for sure. And on this one, Head sculpt's looking fine. I do feel like there's more black around the eyes on this one than this one. It's a little bit of a thicker line on the bottom. You can see it on the bottom. You see that one? Now look at that one. It's got a little bit thicker black line. Now this one has a red blotch on the uh, Decepticon symbol. And I believe there was a ye something yellow somewhere. A little red speck there on this chest. Uh, um, and that's it. But, but of the two, I still kind of like this one more because the, again, uh, the hand is not in the plastic here is there. I don't know why that's making a big deal to me, but sometimes you focus on weird things and it makes me feel like this was open, even though it's definitely not. Um, it's so weird. Uh, and I don't like, uh, even the head is not within the plastic there. So that's bothersome to me. Um, and the black specks on the helmet to me are in a way worse than a little red speck on his chest. Um, your mileage is going to vary. You let me know which one you like better, but I feel like I like this one better, even though it, they both have problems. And finally, um, this box is really gross. I don't know why. Um, and, uh, this one's not. And, well, it's a little messed up, but I don't see much difference in these two, uh, honestly. Everything is looking okay here. Actually, no, there's red coming down off his eye. You see that? Yeah. Yeah, that's, I didn't notice that before, but now that I'm zoomed in. And that's part of what I'm doing. This is because I figured I could zoom in good. He does have a little black speck there, but that's definitely not as egregious as um, that. Although it looks like the red of the eyes goes down further than it does here. I, 
could be wrong about that. But maybe I'm not. I'm not sure. It does look a little choppy at the bottom of the red. I'll have to see. Again, based on what you see here, guys, you let me know your thoughts below on which one you think I should choose. But, I, <laughs> you know, it, you might... I'll probably show you at the, you know, end here uh, which one I did choose. So get those answers in now. Uh, otherwise, they look the same, I think. Maybe a little bit of choppiness here at the, the waist section. But there you go. Um, you let me know which one you thought. It's weird to me to tattoo a man. I'm liking the first set more. Um, I guess the other thing I should look at is the gap in this chest it's about the same so yeah i I'm, I'm feeling like i'm going uh with this set of figures here which was the my initial pre-order set um instead of the ones that i ordered later i don't know i don't know if that's the right choice but you guys uh let me know and i'll uh, i'll i'll uh, i'll show you what i picked at the end of this video all right, gang, the deed is done. I've made my choices. They were indeed the ones I said they were going to be. Um, I ran it by Ultra Zilla Jr. also this morning. Uh, this is the next day, Saturday. So I want to show this part for a second because I think it's cool that this is actually a separate thing. I thought it was going to be the same thing. But the weapons, accessories, are in a separate part here and overall this is sort of looking okay i don't like that neck joint i couldn't tell that we're there let's see all right let me get this out okie dokie everything is out of the package i did want to show the interiors and i did have to get a band-aid <laughs> of the red robot enhanced design. I guess this goes with their design element. It's kind of cool. Right? That's not bad. I'm gonna keep it in, but just to show you guys here. Cool little bit of effort. You couldn't see that before, but that's the thing. Like I said, I wasn't, I'm, I'm not um, the type that takes things out of the package, complains about the QC and throws them back in. Uh, sorry, this just, you know, I don't know. I got the opportunity to be able to choose. Um, and I did so from within, let's say if I was in store, um, from within the package, not taking them out. I'm not going to do that. Uh, not cool to my fellow collectors. There's Soundwave. And, uh, oh, I forgot to get this guy out there. Let's see if we can do it. I'll hold in the camera. Okay. Let's not. Okay. And there's Megs. So, uh, my initial impressions are, they're okay. They're okay. They're not spectacular. Ooh, I did not see that. Oh, well. It is what it is, but they're okay. Um, yeah. So that, here is... Megatron. I don't know if they're nice. Oh, you did get some, some nice accessories with them. That's cool. And was it right to go G1 with all three of the, the initial releases? I don't know. Um, maybe good to mix them up a little bit more. You know? So, a lot to talk about on these, uh, but 
probably save them more for a review just to, to really I feel like this I could just scrape off so I could really uh, get in depth a little more and you know give me more time uh, to look at them uh, probably reviewing them separately so yeah all right guys on to the next all right zillions uh i got this today uh from amazon.com and today is sunday um so we've we've gone a few days deep on this haul of the week already and i did say that you're seeing this i believe on monday at the top of this video uh but as you already know i've changed that so uh i'm and it might be changed further. So this Ultrazilla here has no idea what Final Boss Ultrazilla <laughs> plans to do with this video. But at the time of this part of the recordings, uh, I am deciding to put this up on Wednesday, right before Thanksgiving, and just kind of clear the deck of anything that might come in because I do know... I'm getting a couple more packages. I think it's just three items uh, altogether, I believe, um, between today and Wednesday. So I might as well wait, get everything together, and there you go. So you guys already know that, right? If if this went up on Wednesday. I think it is. I'm pretty sure now that it is. So I got this. I'm not going to open it um, because I think this video has gone on long enough already. Uh, I have no idea how long it is, but... Because I haven't put it all together yet. Uh, but it's probably long enough because, uh, you know, when I do this stuff, it's minimal cuts and stuff like that. Um, so Green Ranger, yeah. This guy was supposed to come out in January. And that's uh, a major theme of what's going on with Hasbro lately is everything gets pushed up. Uh, again, this came from Amazon. So two, two Tommies in this haul all together. But, you know, they're a couple of weeks apart. Um, Green Ranger, yeah, there's no diamonds under there that's crazy uh but there you go green ranger i also got today i got zilla bank now i got this on hottopic.com um along with two other items because hot topics had a sale going on and they have a big sale every year um, I don't think this is their major, major sale, and I should have just waited because they're probably going to have a nice Black Friday sale, um, which I believe is where I usually get, like, because I think every year I, I end up getting something. Um, last year was the movie realization stuff. It was like buy one, get one, like half off or something, something like that. Uh, anywho, I will open this because I got to get this out of here, and it's a Godzilla figural bank from monorail and you know i i contacted monorail about this because i did do um the keychains before them i contacted them about this and the 50 I think there's a 54 bank and you know they were very receptive to what i did you know for the the keychains i didn't contact them about the you know the other keychains the, the next series and then, you know, ultimately, I just didn't feel like covering them. Um, but I did want these guys, uh, you know, because, you know, it's fun for Ultrazilla Jr., fun to cover for the channel here. This is a cool, chibi Godzilla. Um, and, uh, you know, they just, they never contacted me back, so it is what it is. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but this guy looks cool, and he was on sale. Again, all of the stuff that I'm going to show you right now was, and I, you know, I just got together a little bit of a, a few things, um, you know, to get the free shipping, but they were all like cool interrelated stuff, but this is the only Godzilla item, but that's cool. I also got Alphonse Elric from Full Metal, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, um, and this is from the new um, Loyal Subjects Best action line that's what this bst axn uh stands for the best features best articulation the best assortment they are a little bit smaller figures which you know you don't really want an but i you don't really want an alphonse elric as a smaller figure but 
it's an Alphonse Elric for under 20 bucks, um, and on sale. Um, so, yeah, this is a dude I wanted to check out. I want it in the collection in some form, and, uh, I love it, you know. Uh, I do want his brother, um, who is also in the line, but they didn't have him. Uh, so I, I'm a little sad that I wasn't, this is the regular price, um, 1890 at least here. I don't know how much it is at Walmart and stuff. Um, but I, I hope to get his brother, whose name escapes me right now. Uh, and just, you know, to have the two together, that'd be pretty cool. I'm not going to open this one either right now for the sake of time, but I did want to show you this just came in and, uh, I did get it on sale, which is nice. And the final piece from, uh, Hot Topic that I got uh, was this Vidura Tempest dragon from that time I got reincarnated as a slime. I honestly do not know anything about this anime. I don't. Um, but this is one of those things, you know, that happens when you buy something or you put something in a car and then there's like recommendations. I was like, what is that dragon? Um, so... You know, for, I believe, see, this was twenty six ninety, but it was 20 bucks. It was like 19 something. Um, uh, I do know, and I did see a review afterwards um, from someone in Japan who had gotten it for like ridiculously cheap. And I, I don't know what the actual price is in Japan, uh, but whatever, it was under, oh man, it was like... I don't know, it was cheap. It was under 10 bucks. Uh, but, you know, if I would have bought that there and the shipping, it would have been at least 30 bucks for me. So, uh, and I, I looked around and I couldn't find it actually. So, this guy I will open just for fun because I am curious um, about this one. Because uh, it was, you know, it was definitely a impulse like, oh, that looks cool and I need to fill out here. Um, I'm just gonna break it because I'm not planning to send anything back or anything, so whatever. Uh, yeah, so it was one of those things. I like dragons, you guys know that. And uh, it looked like a cool thing to cover here on the channel. And you guys know I like to try new things, so this is definitely very, very, very. It looks cool, I mean. I, yeah, I looked at one review after I was like, you know, to check it out what it is oh man this is all in here is this anime good at everyone uh, you know you guys can let me know in the comments thinking about making this a premiere <laughs> uh but you probably know that already if it is or if it's not because um you know you might be watching this in the chat or you might not I haven't decided. I, I might. I haven't done much of the premieres. Oh, it's a lot smaller than I thought. Now I could, now I could see why it might have been really cheap over there. But it still feels pretty sturdy. The wings and tail are separate. Oh, that looks cool. That really does. I need that. There we go. Get the camera. Oop. Not that it's going anywhere. Alrighty. So let's just see if these go in nice and easy or not. Or if it needs heat. Oh, I cannot put that in. Let's try the tail. Tail went in pretty easy. Let's see here. If this wing goes in nicely. This looks really cool.
So I see like grooves in here, and I d don't see grooves on the actual wings. So, I think I might need to heat this up, um, which I'm not gonna do here. Oh wait, there we go, that went in. There you go. Okay, now, 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 now we're good. <laughs> Before we were not good. Um, yeah, this is cool. It's just like a little PVC statue. Good size, though. This is cool. 20 bucks, yeah. I mean, all those Ben Prestos are around that price point, I guess, you know? Um, but this is a dragon, and dragons are awesome. And that looks really cool, so I'm glad I got this. Yeah, very cool. Definitely a review coming at some point, you know? Edit to the massive pile of stuff um but i feel like of the three things i got um this was you know the the throw in um and you know the the whatevs I, all three of them are kind of like a whatever this is like a whatever <laughs> type of uh you know purchase the three items but at the same time you know sometimes it's it's fun to get some other things well, Godzilla is Godzilla, whatever. But the Alphonse, uh, I'm really looking forward to. So there you go. Um, that is what I uh, got today. Hey, this is a real quick aside. And uh, here, here's, here's Alphonse out of the package just to show you. Um, I did want to I did want to say that um, <laughs> this is now 30% off at a Hot Topic. This whole line, every, pretty much everything is. So I should have waited, uh, but at the same time, they no longer had this guy, um, so I don't mind that I waited. So you could get this guy for 13-something now, and that dragon dude um, for 18-something. So I could have saved myself three bucks, um, but... At the same time, I don't care because I, I want to get that Godzilla and that is no longer in stock. So there you go. It's a Black Friday sale, you know, through Black Friday, I'm guessing. So go to Hot Topic if you want to get this, the Dragon Guy, or whatever else. All right, and I didn't mention that last segment, uh, you know, is Monday. It's Monday, uh, and that was on my review desk where I'm in the process of doing a review now, so I didn't, but I just got some stuff in, a couple of things in the mail. The first piece from Transformers Kingdom, War for Cybertron Trilogy, um, and uh, if you saw my uh, Ultrazilla Live with Ben's World of Transformers, Ben from Ben's World of Transformers, I talked about this, uh, that I was getting this guy in, this is the first piece that I've gotten in, it's a vertebrake. Um, and the packaging is all messed up. I really don't care about that, but wow. I mean, it is so messed up that it's, like, breaking out of here. Yeah. Um, I also got, <laughs> I got a hand dryer. Um, and this does apply because I am, and hey, look. Some hydroponic plants. Um, some lettuce. You guys want some lettuce? Cherry tomatoes. Um. This does apply because I actually bought this for use down here only. Uh, we have a hair dryer. Um, and you know what? This, I, I might I might bring this to the apartment and give that to my wife and, you know, to, to all of us. And then use uh, the old one for down here. Um, just to heat things up. I'm always, you know, bringing stuff up to, to the apartment to uh, blow dry and uh, warm up you know, the plastics and stuff. So I figured I'd just get a dryer for up here. Uh, that's what I use, just a regular hair dryer, mid-sized dryer. So I think the, the, the other one I have, Con Air, yeah, with uh, Nicholas Cage. Um, I think the other one I have is, actually, I'm doing an unboxing of a hair dryer. Um, where is it going? I just want to see the size, I'm curious. Oh, mid-sized hair dryer is. Oh, this is small. This is small enough, I think. Ten bucks. It's ten bucks right now on Amazon. Yeah, that'll work fine. Uh, I, 
could have used a heat gun as well, but I feel like I'm gonna like melt plastic with a heat gun. So hair dryers worked for me for years. Um, I just didn't have an extra one for here. So whether, whether or not I use this one or my old one, um, possibly the old one, just cause it's all, it's like a mess already. And why, why not use a nice new one for my actual hair, right? And here's little, little vertebrae. I, I transformed it into its little dinosaur bones. <laughs> I, I love it. Well, I don't know about love, but I like it. It's cool. Articulated dinosaur bones. Um, that's cool. So the tail can be used by any character, pretty much. Um, don't know if that's all it could do, but it's very, very cool. This is the new core class. So yeah, expect a full review soon, but uh, yeah, very cool. Very, very, very cool. All right, my zillions, time to open up this uh, Gomez of Death. I've had it for, I don't know, a week now. Uh, <laughs> And I could have opened it and gotten it up and gotten more views, but I didn't. Um, it is what it is. Mezco Monday, show us your mezzets. And this may be the last segment of the of the video. It is Tuesday, and this video got long, and I apologize. And I do thank everybody that took a look. But I, I did want to do it this way. You are officially the proud owner of a mezzet. Use it to win free stuff. Okay, whatever. Um, there is a mezzet here somewhere. I guess it's a little gold mezzet. I won't be opening this because uh, I might I might throw this up on eBay. I just don't care about that that much. We get... I do have something. I had another box coming. Uh, I'll talk about it at the end because I am waiting. It's Tuesday night now, by the way. Tuesday uh, night. That's nice. A little sticker. Now we did get an extra box here. Uh, which I do know is uh, a couple extra heads uh, that they previously did not announce. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Bloody beat up head. This one? And now I do know these have the black eyes, and the ones in the box have, like, yellow eyes. So that's pretty, pretty standard, normal. Put that to the side. Bring over the big box of the Gomez of Death. Based on Game, uh, game of Death, Bruce Lee. Not. Oh, boy. Not. Um, Kill Bill. Okay? Not Kill Bill. And this thing is going for some ridiculous money right now. Um. Oh, man. The, the whole Mezco collecting community. This is nothing for the fans that really like Mezco and buy them because they really like them. Um, that's, this is no knock on you, but... It seems like a large portion of the community now is only in it to, like, flip these things for ridiculous amounts of money. Um, so if, if there is Mezcos that you want, uh, make sure you're available and ready to order when the pre-orders drop for the, for the exclusive stuff. Is that, like, what is this? What do we got here? Me, I only get Mezcos every once in a while. Like, like one a year. <laughs> okay. This on the list sticker, I don't know. In this game, there can be only one winner. Alright. Great. No problem. So I loved the first release of Gomez, who I actually have. Alright, very close here. This dude? Uh, and I've never... This was the initial Toy Fair exclusive one. Um, never got any others. I just didn't care that much. 
so we do have stand back here. I'm not gonna open all this. I feel like a mini version of them. Nunchukas. The claws. The bad guy had the claws in Game of Death. Oh no, actually no, that was that was not from Game of Death. That was Fermenta the Dragon. Big yellow and black boombox. These type of weapons. Mini ones for this dude. <laughs> Marvel Legends styled effect parts. Lots of hands. This type of weapon. There's something else back there, I think. Uh, I don't know. I'm not opening it all now because it's just a lot. But I did want to check out the figure itself. Oh man, there's all kinds of extras here, so bear with me. Okay, luckily, there's a grappling hook here. More weapons, they are concealed. Now, you do have a lot of different heads. The golden eyes. Ant head. Regular Gomez heads. Uh, another one of these black skull heads. There it is. And let's check out how Gomez turned out. I see his undershirt. <laughs> Looking cool. I do like the golden eyes. That's very nice. I wish this was um, thicker. I wish I didn't see that underneath. Well, this kicks. And not, you know, the ASICs that he, uh, Bruce Lee wears. And that's a little bit disappointing. But, it does look cool. Let's unzip him for a second, because I can see something. Does he actually have an undershirt? He does. He does have an undershirt, so that's pretty slick. Or it's just a bodysuit. <laughs> kind of wish he didn't have that because I don't like how it looks underneath. So I don't know what's up with that. I might want to get rid of that because it's just looks weird to me. Let's not ruin this. But overall, the outfit looks pretty good. It's cool. I'll have to check it out further, but it is looking pretty cool right now. Gotta say, I do like. Yeah, if there was any that I was gonna get, it was gonna be this. So, you know, I think uh, the two together are pretty awesome yeah this is great this is great <laughs> it's been a, a while since i handled a new mezco um i did get i think a couple last year but i i know i got diabolique was that it i don't remember i'm a little tired right now guys not because it's a long video because i've been filming it you know separately it's just it's, it's past midnight here and just a little tired. Filmed a bunch of openings before for some other videos. But yeah, I am digging this. That, that is for sure. Um, I think this looks pretty cool. Very fun. Definitely for me, a big Bruce Lee fan. Um, it was a must to have. And again, I really love this figure. And I just haven't gone in uh, on any of the other ones. Um... Just, I, I don't know, I just didn't feel the need. But I felt the need for this. Like, as soon as I saw it, as soon as it went up, uh, I, I I just jumped on that pre-order because, yeah, this is cool. I've always loved this look. I do have the yellow A6 myself. Did I say that before? Um, yeah. So, very, very, very cool set. You get a lot of stuff here for sure. And there you go, guys. This may or may not be the last thing uh, here. It, it is currently 
the last thing I was showing you here, but there was a box that was supposed to come in um, yesterday and got delayed. Now, it says it's coming in on Friday, but my personal history of where it is currently usually indicates it might be here tomorrow, but it might not. So you're going to know right away because I'm cutting to the final scene no matter what. So whether that final scene includes figures or if it's just me saying peace out, peeps, you're going to know right now. Uh, all right, Zillions, I am outside. Uh, hello. Uh, and it is Wednesday morning, and I got just got a giant box from Diamond while I was in the shower. Um, like a really big box. Don't know exactly what's in here, but this is a surprise uh, inclusion. This is not the box I was talking about. So... Let's see what I got. Quick cut to cut the packing with that, sorry. <laughs> not have that the SDCC oh boy wait <laughs> the iron giant SDCC two SDCC pieces that I did not have previously and this oh my gosh oh my gosh Oh my gosh, I did not know if I was going to open that. Oop. <laughs> the half scale resin bust of Godzilla 64. Not a toy. Oh man. Oh man. Well, this is the first time I ever got one of these. That is amazing. Uh, I had previously asked for the Gypsy Danger one, uh, and I never did get that one. <laughs> um, but thank you, Diamond. Wow. So this is this is pretty awesome. Oops, I broke the box on burning a little. Okay, I'm going to keep the box anyway. Wow. Very cool. Two exclusives on this beautiful thing. I think, what are they calling this? Legends in Three Dimensions? Wow. Um, yeah. We will take this out in a second when I go back into the studio. Not going to remove these. Uh, I might not even... Uh, I have to. I have to review them. So... <laughs> Um, but I won't re uh, take it out here. Uh, but this we will definitely take a look at better. Surprise, surprise! How awesome is that? So real quick, here is Burning Godzilla. If you've never seen it before, but I mean, you know, it's been around since the summer. So there's been reviews out for this guy. I think I asked for mine a little bit too late. Um, so we had to wait till I got more to someone over, but yeah, Burning Godzilla, and I think it looks really good. I had heard people say that this one was better than the uh, first one, and so far I'm gonna agree, but I gotta look at it better, so we shall see. Here is uh, the Iron Giant a little, a little closer. Didn't take this out because, uh, while I took out one sticker... The other sticker is a nice iron giant stick, and I want to try to do it carefully because it's also the first one. <laughs> one of 3,000. I think that is the first time I had a one of. So, um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, it looks good. It's a different deco. 
So I'm definitely looking forward to checking this particular version out. I had no idea if this was a, a real burger, like a, like a toy, or if it was, um, you know, just a piece of uh, paper. It's, it is just, you know, cardboard or whatever. Uh, but the packaging is really nice. This is definitely one where I'll definitely keep the packaging. It's very, very, very cool. So uh, I'm not going to go further on this. So definitely stay tuned for a review. All right, here I am back in my uh, studio and we got to open up this big cool but really nice premium looking box here um yeah this looks amazing so let's see what it actually looks like oh we got a beautiful card so i got number 32 of a thousand on this bust. And here it is. Wow. For one thing, this thing is weighty. Very, very weighty. Got some uh, foam on there. Styrofoam. But wow. This thing is pretty gorgeous, I have to say. I mean, you know, it's a face so only a mother can love or a huge G fan, like all of us here. Oh, I'm not gonna assume all of us, but yeah, me at least. <laughs> this is awesome. Love the water base here. Very cool. Very cool. I actually do not have any busts in my collection, so this is a first, and uh, I'm I'm glad it's G. You know, if it wasn't gonna be Gypsy uh, Danger, uh, Godzilla here is definitely the one it should be. Honestly, that is amazing. So there you go, guys. An awesome, awesome DST haul. Um, that surprised me uh, for showing up today. Um, I didn't know if I was getting any of this stuff. I had mentioned um, to them that I really uh, would love to review this. And then, you know, uh, and I figured I'd mention, you know, getting uh, some of those exclusives uh, that I had missed out on. Because, you know, sometimes they do get more stock in. Uh, you, you know, I, I've been working with DST long enough to know that sometimes... Um, they do get more in, um, and yeah, so I, I asked, and yeah, very cool. This is amazing. So review on this one very, very soon. I'm going to try to prioritize this, get it out for you guys uh, sometime this weekend. Uh, I already have a review ready for Friday because it's a special day, um, and, but I'm not going to reveal what that is. Um, and I'm not going to have a review up tomorrow for Thanksgiving, uh, but I'll talk about that more in a second. All right, gang, final box actually made it. Man, I didn't think it would. BBTS got lost in transit somehow, and um, it's supposed to be here Monday. It's Wednesday, it's only two days, so that's good, but it didn't move for a whole week, uh, the tracking, and that was a little frustrating because what's in this box, I saw a lot of people get from like Saturday on, and reviews have gone up, and you know I'm heading back now. That's probably what I'm getting to it right away. Do I have that option? You know what I'm saying? So, oops. I'll rip it open. I'll rip it open. And get this video done. Oh man. Best packing in town. DBTS always. And here we go. The Lightning Collection Monsters King Sphinx. And pretty decent. Yes, I forgot the color that nose. <laughs> Man. Um, but it looking good is the BBTS card. I haven't shown one of these in a while. I used to always do that. Hey, they made the card. How about it? Crazy. And pumpkin wrapper. Pumpkin wrapper. That one looks really good, actually. 
All right, that looks pretty good. Again, didn't really color the interiors there, but that's not the worst. And it's just a shot on the side. Beautiful Tom Whelan art. I think it's still Tom Whelan. It looks the same. Really good. Much bigger figures. Can't wait to see how these size with multiple things and get reviews of these going. Um, but there you go. That is it. That's been my huge multi part, multi day haul of the weeks. I don't know what I'm calling this. Haul of the weeks, mega haul. Who knows? Pre Thanksgiving bonanza. And I'm glad these guys made it. So, cleared the deck before Thanksgiving. Hope you guys have a fantastic Thanksgiving. You know, stay safe. And uh, I'll talk to you probably tomorrow night. <laughs> All right, till next time. Peace out, peeps.